Hello everyone, my name is Ian Lamont. I'm the author of Dropbox in 30 Minutes. And today I'm going to be talking about how to use a Dropbox feature called Selective Sync to save space on your Dropbox account. And maybe a good place to start actually is just a conceptual diagram of how Dropbox works. So Dropbox is a program that you can install on your computer, whether it's a laptop or a, you know, a desktop PC or a mobile phone. And the idea is the data on it will sync from your computer to your Dropbox account in the cloud. And when I say cloud, I just mean a bunch of servers that Dropbox owns that are connected to the internet. So it uses your internet connection to send those, let's say you create a new uh, file on your computer, it will send it and you put it in your Dropbox folder, it will put a copy of that folder in the cloud, and then the same file will be synced to the other computers you may have. And uh, for, for mobile phones and tablets, it works a little bit differently. You have to tell Dropbox that you want to sync the, the file or the folder to your device. But for computers, it happens automatically, which is really great because you don't even have to think about it. Your files will be almost will be backed up, basically, and stored in the cloud. So even if you lose your computer, you can still uh, access it from a website or you can uh, maybe access the files from another computer that's syncing. But here's the problem. What if your laptop only has, let's say, 500 gigabytes of available storage space, and your desktop has three terabytes of available space, which is basically six times as much. And your Dropbox account, your master account, it contains one terabyte of data. This means that your laptop won't have enough space to store all of that data, and you'll get warnings from Dropbox that, hey, we can't sync this because there's not enough space on your uh, computer to do it. But there is a way you can take care of this problem. Actually, there's several ways. And the way that a lot of people do it is they'll go to their uh, folder. This is a Finder in Mac, but if you have a Windows computer, it's the File Explorer. It will look very similar. And the idea is you'll go through the, all of the uh, files that you have, and maybe you'll say, hey, um, I don't need, let's say, uh, this particular image anymore. So I'm just going to delete it from the, com from the uh, computer. And uh, then it will, that, that deletion will sync to, dro to the Dropbox master account and then it will be gone. Although, as I've noted in other videos, you can still recover that file for a limited amount of time. Uh, but that's one way to, to free up some space on your local hard drive. The, but the problem is, is that, you know, in order to delete even a gigabyte worth of files, you'll have to be doing a lot of deleting. This is 3.5 megabytes, these files right here. So I'd have to be, I'd have to delete like 300 files just to, of this type just to uh, delete one gigabyte worth of space. And it could take, you know, days to, to do that. Or you might end up accidentally deleting an important folder that you'll need later on. There's a better way to do this, and that's using the selective sync feature. So let's, uh, let's take a look at how that works. If you have a Mac or a PC, what you want to do is find the Dropbox icon. On a Mac, it'll be up at the top. Um, I think they call this the taskbar, and then on a PC it'll be in the bottom somewhere in the system tray. Just click on that icon, and some other icons will appear. And uh, in short, what you want is the settings icon. So click on that, and then select preferences. Okay, so right now, here are the Dropbox preferences. On the uh, Windows and Mac, the, this interface looks almost identical. But what you want is the sync icon. And there's something called selective sync. It's kind of buried, but this is a really important feature. It lets you choose which folders to sync. So it's going to load my folders. And then basically what I can do is I can start checking and unchecking the stuff that I want to sync to my local hard drive. So let's say I have this folder stored in Dropbox called blogging, but I don't want to sync that anymore. I'll just uncheck it, and then I'll hit update. And so it'll prompt you, are you sure you want to do that? And you say yes. So what's going to happen is, and maybe we can see it, yeah, see this little symbol on the Dropbox icon, that little swirling symbol? It means it's basically removing, uh, or removing from my Dropbox folder on my hard drive the blogging folder, and I think it's gone. Let's just check just to be sure. Yeah, so the blogging folder used to be here. Now it's gone. Um, and I can keep on going through and, and doing other things to save more space. Sometimes you might have to determine which folders are the best ones to unsync. Um, 
So I unsync blogging. But to, t to be honest with you, that folder didn't really have a lot of content. So I might have to go through and start to unsync some of the heavy hitters. And I know which ones they are. So my business, my business account uh, has a lot of folders. And by the way, this, this minus symbol here, that, this means some of the folders are syncing and some of them are not. So let's see what they are. Okay. So you can see a lot of my folders are syncing or partially syncing. But I know like this one, the videos master folder, this one contains tons of material. So let's look at the raw video. Okay, there's some folders in here I probably don't need to sync anymore. So right now, this is a video I created last year. I'm going to unsync that one and update it. So again, I'll be prompted. You sure want to do that? It says updating, or you can see the sync, syncing taste taking place. That might take longer because there's a lot of folders in there. But basically what's going to happen is, let's see if it's gone. Okay, it's gone. So the, so the one that it was from October of 2017, that folder is no longer part of my local hard, hard drive installation. However, just to, be sure, just to remind, you, remind everybody, even though I deleted it on my laptop, it will still be in the cloud account and it will still be syncing to my other PC if, as long as I've set up all the folders to sync to that PC. So I didn't just delete those videos. I just stopped syncing them to my, local, to my laptop's hard drive. They're still there in my master Dropbox account and they will still sync to my other computer um, or I can use a mobile device to access them again, but they're not deleted. And the other thing I can do, if I want to resync them to my laptop, I can do that. Just go back to Selective Sync. Let's see if I can get that again. Preferences, Selective Sync. And then if I wanted to get that folder back, it is in the i30 Media. Let's see, where is it? Videos Master Folder, Raw Video. It's this one, October 2017 MS videos. Actually, let's just do that right now. It might take a while, but it should start to happen. Yeah, it's syncing. It's going to take a while. Hey, right, there it is right there. So it, it added that folder back. For more information on how to get the most out of Dropbox, check out my book, Dropbox in 30 Minutes. It's available from in30minutes.com. And I look forward to seeing you again.